Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is Tyrone or Adliato. This is uh, part 5 in our series. If you guys don't know what's going on, you can click on the screen here on my face now and you will see the playlist for this uh, series that we do. We're going through this game, Stories, the Path of Destinies, and I am going with what you guys tell me you want me to choose. So we've been choosing, um, we've been playing this in parts about 20 minutes or so, depending on where we are in the story or what the prompt actually is. And um, I'll wait for you guys to tell me in the comments in the previous video where you want me to go. The sky and that's what I do. Was making a whining noise now, and it's so real. The choices were so fast you could no longer see them. Renato had a thought. Please? He asked. The Sky Ripper began to glow. Boom! The outpost burst into flame. Ravens flapped out screaming, wings on fire. <laughs> the base was his. The fire speaker toad came hopping out. Renato! It croaked, sounding like a toad version of Zenobia. Don't use the Sky Ripper. It will destroy the world. Yeah, sure it will, cracked Renato. Pull the other one. If you don't trust me, go see Calaveras. He'll tell you the same thing. I love this narrator. Oh, she would say Boy, that. Voices are so fun. That sounded sensible. Why did she always have to sound sensible all the time? Oh, it was infuriating. Of course, she would say that. He was supposed to hurry and bring the Sky Ripper to the Council so the rebels could actually win the war. But what if she was right? Hmm. Damn it. Okay, so the last couple of videos we've been pretty much choosing the bottom one, going full tilt, trying to do all these, um, trying to get this weapon going. Interestingly enough, the votes on the last video want us to go see the old man, so we're going to go see this guy and see what happens. Zenobia was so frustrating. If she couldn't get you with magic, She'd get you with reason and, and, and caution and sensible arguments. Of course, Calaveras, he might not know the latest scientific theories with evidence and all, but Renato preferred the knowledge in the old books anyway. What they said felt true. And that's what's important. He should be careful, though. She'd probably guess he'd come here. That meant she'd probably set an ambush for him. reason and logic. I mean, who lives by those kind of standards, honestly? Yep. Reason and logic. This is a, what you call an awkward moment in a video recording. Maybe I'll edit this out. Yep, probably should edit this out. Renato landed on the island, expecting Zenobia's ambush at any moment. God, after all these years, she still drove him crazy. Or, oh, unless they were part of the ambush, the obvious reasons he was meant to see to take his mind off the ones he wouldn't see. There did seem to be a lot of ravens around here. Okay, we're still looking for th um, three more ores so we can get this next sword. Okay. Don't have any gems not that I can see. I have uploaded the I mean I have up scaled a little bit on this um, this video. The it should be at ten eighty now. So if it gets a bit choppy, let me know. The system seems to be handling it fine, but it should be at ten eighty now. You know what, every single time I go the way that I should be going, I end up getting quite disappointed because I can't go backwards. Ah, ah, this is the right way, okay. That was awesome! 
If you're getting attacked this way, then normally going the other way I should have something to it. I did it again, guys. It didn't look properly, and now we can't go back. What do you think would happen if I die? Should, should I see if I can... Let me see if I can go die. We're doing this for science. We need to figure out... Nope, that's going to make us save, I'm sure. Well, let me see what all our health. Let's go see what happens. This thing really needed a roof. Okay, I'm gonna stand here if we get ambushed and let myself die. Nothing's happening. Destroy all of the surrounding pots and stuff. Yes. Okay, hold on. That goes one way. This goes down here. Let yourself get better at looking at where I'm going. So I see if I need to go back or not. Don't we just agree to disagree, said Renata? No? Oh, oh no, you heard me. Nice of the orb thing. Pretty much just did all the work for me. Okay, let's go the other way. I'm very indecisive. This is my bad. Also, as you can see on my Steam, someone has just been to go join another game. Yeah, not for them. We're not going to be joining them. I see there. That's where it takes you. Think I can just stand on this thing? Go down. How do I switch this thing on? No, let me die. Let me die. Yay. I mean, uh, you have died. You start from the checkpoint. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> we can't go back. Suppose we have no choice but to kill them all. Zenobia's ambush never materialized. Could she be sincere? Calaveras was a great scholar. Renato doubted even Zenobia could convince him to say something he didn't believe. And if he was working for the Empire, he'd never have told Renato about the Skyripper in the first place. Mm. Well, true story. He would listen to the wise old toad. But that didn't mean he had to agree. Also true. Wow. Talk about a long trip. Renato's paws were getting numb. Calaveras really didn't want company, did he? To his alarm, Renata realized that the rebels had no way of knowing he had a powerful new weapon. He might set off on their attack of the fleet before he could bring the Sky Ripper to the fight. He had to hurry, while there were still rebels to save. Yeah, if only there was a way to like communicate things like that, you know, like an SMS or an email or a messenger or something. A world of magic and they still haven't figured that out. Instant communication. Okay, 
That means we can teleport here, so there's obviously two ways to go. Can't go that way. Unless I can dash across, no? What was the point of this gate? Did they think no one would notice the lever? need hmm wonder what this how this is supposed to work actually how do I get there yay clicking on things randomly Don't need any more health, I don't have to keep smashing all the crystals. Well, the one or two of them had ore in them earlier. And that one's empty. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going, boys. And girls. I don't presume to know who you are watching this. Hey, it's a halter. What shall we get? Can I get this? Perfect strike. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits the lands. Perfect strike. Bonus damage. Yada yada. I want time. Slow down time after a successful counter until the next action. I'm going with time. Still got another point. So, combo and time. Yeah. That's actually what I meant to click on. Luckily I had another one, that would have sucked. But now, can I go back? Does it tell me how to activate it? It just slows it down passively? Okay. Maybe we'll get some bad guys here we can practice on. That doesn't look like a bad guy. Hello, human. Calaveras examines the Sky Ripper eagerly. Oh, how often does a new relic surface? He brushed off Zenobia's warning. <laughs> oh, what a sorceress's door about physics. Mm. However, he did know a few ways to make the weapon even more precise and more powerful, and quickly Bow. went off to tinker. Soon the Sky Ripper no longer whined, but thrummed like a hummingbird taking off. It was ready for war. And so, got an upgrade, son. Calaveras, and took the legendary weapon to the final battle. But where were the other rebel ships? Had something happened? He could defeat the Imperial fleet with a Sky Ripper, but he couldn't govern. He was not cut out to be Emperor, and he had no desire to be one. Sure. For a second I thought we would have to make a choice. Guess not. So you just get to uh, look at another loading screen. This is good. Yep. Great. Great stuff. Here we go. What's gonna happen, boys? Here we go. Angles. There were a few rebel ships here and there, but there was no organization to the battle. Where was the council flagship? Uh, something had gone terribly wrong. But he had the Sky Ripper, and the Ravens had nowhere they could hide. It is time for the new sword. This burning sword from the south was terrific for barbecuing sausages and ravens. How cool would that be? Like a lightsaber. Have you seen that where you can like cut the toast and I mean the bread and the toast it for you? That'd be cool. If you could like cut sausage and it cooked it. I'd be so fat. Nice. So just hold on shift while I'm using it. 
Okay. I can't swap. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to play around with this one for a while and see how that all works out. I hope this video is recording fine because I just noticed now that my um, my frame rate has gone down really low. Hmm. Maybe I should check that out. Okay. I'm going to check that out. You guys, you stay, stay where you are. 